Hi, happy Wednesday guys. I actually am here for just a short time. We are waiting for family to arrive from out of state. And so when they get here, we'll probably be having dinner and just, you know, celebrating a long time since we've been able to visit with anybody. But I didn't want to leave anybody hanging. And so I felt like I'll do a couple of announcements. One of which, the Arthur's looking great. Um, the linoleum and all of that turned out really well. I don't know if I mentioned, but I got the old hymnals for my junk journaling. And speaking of junk journaling, um, actually I listed this one on eBay for sale because it's really old. But <clears throat> my schedule will go back to normal on the 26th of May. This Sunday there will be no video. Um, I apologize for that, but you know, I, this is a once in a lifetime opportunity for me. So I am going to take advantage of it. Now, this is a little children's hymnal, but I don't think it matters when you're doing junk journaling. Um, this one is favorite songs and hymns and it's really old too. The paper is almost naturally yellow on this and Oh, it just smells old. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. So anyhow, I'm going to be working on that. Um, I'm still working on flattening my papers. And I'm going to go ahead and combine um, my videos. What I'm going to do is I'll do a Wednesday night dollhouse video. And then I'll do a Wednesday night junk journaling video. And today I scored some more really good um, antique books and magazines on eBay. So I'll be doing a, a haul on those pretty soon. This was another book I got, um, National Geographic, Jesus and the Origins of Christianity. And I cut a lot of this stuff out because I'm making um, my mother-in-law a prayer book. She has her prayers that she does and she loves She's got them in a little bag, and, and so I'm going to make a little pocket, a little fabric pocket for her um, rosary, and so it's going to turn out pretty cool. And I think I told you guys I was not happy with this wood grain, so I'm going to be redoing that. Not necessarily redoing it, but making, like, see this flat area? Making that a little more realistic. And probably some of these flatter areas, just building it up a little more. I mean, it looks okay, but needs to be thicker. So we'll get that done. And I got a Country Living magazine today from my mother-in-law. And I didn't see a whole lot in there, so I'm not going to keep it. And then patterns. Nice patterns. I'm going to be coloring and so I'm going to work on um, invisible paper clips. I'll be working on those. And there's just a few other things I will be doing. And I'm going to be like wrapping all of my floss on the things like I was saying. I think I was saying. And then these were a pretty cool find. Um, the glass. But they'll hold all of my paint colors and this is in boxes, so anyhow, that's what I'm going to be doing. Oh, and I was looking um, at the Mod Podge that I got from the Dollar Tree, and it is luster. So for my dollhouse crew, I'm going to put that gloss on here, and I think that will give it the... High because I want the kitchen floor super 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 shiny, so we'll be putting the high gloss luster on there. And this is kind of a combo video, guys. I apologize, but these the kids are on the road as we speak. So then I also got these, so I can start putting little um, bushes on the doors, you know, like in the doorway entrance area of my house. So that goes. And pretty much, once again, ta-da! I cleaned my space up. Oh, and one more thing. I 
I'm seriously, seriously going to try and make, um, this is the, um, I think it is, you know, I think it is the, mm, I gotta look, it's from the Lisa Soames Peck book, and it's the second project, and it is, no, that's the uh, herb box, yeah, that's the herb box, so our next step is, and I did do it and it did work, is going to be the toy box. So once I get this figured out, I'll be doing a lot of different things. Um, and I'm going to spend, um, I'm hoping, next Monday, fingers crossed, on the 20, no, 26, 27, 28, 29, Memorial Day. I'm hoping, fingers crossed, that I get to spend an entire day with my cricket so I can get some stuff. Oops, sorry about that. Sorry about that. So anyhow, I can get some stuff going. I did find some of my paper punches. So these are nice too if you want to put decorations on your furniture the hard way. Um, cutting them out and putting them on Transfer paper, transfer tape, transfer vinyl is a lot easier than doing it this way. But it can be done this way. Look at the little, oops, look at those little guys. Yeah, those are nice. So anyhow, we will get back to normal. Um, so right now I am anxiously going to go wait with my husband for the kids to show up. So it's going to be exciting. Um, all of them. From the well, my youngest son won't make it. Um, there's there's going to be three absent because um, three of them can't make it. That's and that's my kids. We have his, mine, and ours. So one is in basic training and won't be here. But we're gonna have the we're gonna have a nice graduation weekend and everybody will get caught up on old times and I'll finally get to meet those grandbabies. All right, guys, happy crafting. Take care.